Hey creators, Eamon here, and this is where I help you unlock your dream creative life. Today, we're reacting to uh, to some TikToks on what some people have to say on creativity. And uh, there's a lot of nonsense out there, so I'm keen to uh, to break it down with you. Let's let's kick it off here. If you are a creative person, then listen the fuck. Sorry. I'm going to tell you about things that I've learned about creativity that have changed my entire fucking life and all the art I've ever created as I get ready for bed. Okay, one, you have to consume great art to create great art. And consuming it. Okay, yeah, that's, that's this is so huge because, like, a lot of people don't realize, especially as an artist, that, like, yeah, you're... Like what's actually coming in is also what's going to be going out. So like, yeah, a lot of people don't curate their feeds. And I think that's been huge for me. Like I just deleted TikTok and read it off my phone recently. And uh, I'm literally on TikTok on my laptop watching this because yeah, like curating the content that you actually consume is so huge, especially in the modern world. In such an intentional way, like with every fucking fiber of your being paying attention to not to like copy it, but so you can like literally fine tune your brain like it's a little radio. So you can like tune into the frequency of creating what makes that great. Not to copy it, but to like be within that frequency. Yeah, so there's a fine line here because again, you don't want to be copying other people. So you kind of want to be following or at least, yeah, consuming the kind of content that does inspire you to create more, right? But like you also don't want to be following it following content that's too closer to your own because otherwise then you might just make that content and then you think it's your original idea. Don't you hate that? You write down an idea. You're like, oh my God, I've got a great idea. You wake up in the middle of the night, you write it down your notion board and then you're like, that wasn't my idea. I stole it. But your brain just convinces you, you know? Even when I was just like with TikTok, I was spending so many hours just like consuming TikToks and like, I don't recommend that because like that's like not good for you. But like, if you no. want to be a TikToker or if you want to be like on YouTube or if you want to be on some sort of platform, like you should know the ins and outs of that platform. Same with, like, my music journey right now. Like, I'm literally, like, shoving so much music into my brain. And two, you know me. You follow me. You have to open your heart. I know that sounds cheesy, but, like, creating out of here versus creating out of here is night and day. It really is. Like, creating out of here, my shittiest TikToks, my shittiest music, like, when I'm in a pinch and I got to do my homework, I didn't manage my time wrong because I'm really bad at time management because I'm really bad at ADHD. I create out of here because it's not possible to be out of here all the time. Okay, yeah, I was a skeptical at the start of that. You probably saw my face, but like I'm I'm actually fully on board with that. Uh, like uh, a couple of books I've been reading recently about around like trauma and, and upbringing. It's like the difference between your thinking brain and your like feeling brain or your feeling body is so huge. And what she's saying there is that it's like, and you'd know this as an artist, if you get trapped in your own head, then like, there's a lot of cool, like maybe lyrics and ideas come from there, but like, you know, when you're making the best music that you have, it's coming from a feeling, right? And feelings come from your body, not from your brain. So yeah, I was skeptical with where she was going with that, but uh, but I, I'm fully on board with what she's saying there, actually. Let's move on, see if we can find, find something else. We need more art. Everything looks the same now. We often spend hours searching for inspiration through an algorithm, and we forget that inspiration was all around us. From the streets and the buildings we see, our own living spaces and past memories. Ultimately, creativity should be a reflection of our own lives and interests. So slow down, look around, be present, and appreciate all the things in our daily lives. Give yourself time. Creativity isn't meant to have a deadline. Find that space to form your thoughts and give your ideas air to breathe. Because ultimately, you need more art. Yeah, I love this as well. This is so good because like, we do need more art. And uh and it, it is actually everywhere. And you can just, yeah, you just uh, take inspiration from so many different things. I had an experience yesterday. I was just driving in the car, right? And uh, and just jolted me with like, oh my God, you're like experiencing present consciousness right now. And it was like night and gloomy and I'm like driving home and and like a little bit rainy and, and you know, I've got like Thai food in the car, ready to go eat eat my Thai food with my friend. and And it was actually a really beautiful moment right? If you're paying attention to it. And um, yeah, I love the gloominess of it. I was listening to really chill music. I have a playlist called Serotonin Sounds, right? Um, and it's, yeah, really like ambient music and like that, like you can really, uh, what's the word, romanticize your life in those moments and you can create full worlds around moments like that. But moments like that can also so easily be ignored. And there's something crazy special about that. And uh, yeah, that's what he's outlining here. And um, it's a really cool piece of content as well, actually. Um, yeah, I'm loving pieces of content like that where it kind of just ticks back over into itself. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. But um, 
Yeah, there's uh, there's really special moments in your day to day life that uh, that are just around you, you know, all the time. But uh, it's so easy to ignore them or yeah, not even see them. So that's that's a really banging piece of content. I'm about it. I'm about it. This here is the best piece of creative advice I was ever given. Rather than trying to come up with something new every day, paint, draw, film, or photograph the exact same thing every single day. You heard me, the exact same thing every single day. Here's why this works. Rather than using your creative energy to come up with something new every day, use that energy to learn how to create within those boundaries. Learn how to find a unique angle, something different within the same niche, genre, subject, or medium. Because ironically, the more options we have creatively, the harder time you're going to have being creative. So many creatives struggle so much because they rely solely on reinventing the wheel every single day. The worst thing you can do as a creative is sit down with zero limitations and be told to make literally whatever you want. Instead, find a medium, subject, or topic that you're deeply interested in and try to figure out a way to find creativity within those boundaries. And that is why this here is the... Yeah, okay, cool. I wouldn't I wouldn't say it's the best. I mean, this is his experience, right? This is the best creative advice that he's ever ever received. So that's cool. But it's not the best cre- but creative advice I've ever received. And I'll tell you what that is. But um, just to react to this for a second, uh, it is really important to have creative limitations. Because again, like if you roll in, you're like, I'm going to make a video today. And that's all you have. It's like, cool. But if I was like, today, this is my first time making a video like this, right? I'm like, I'm going to make a video today where I'm in my studio and I react to tiktoks in within the creativity niche it's like okay cool that box just gets so much smaller and you've got bounds to work within right same when i'm making music it's like okay cool just make a cool chord pattern right now that's all that matters you know and then all of a sudden an hour later i've got a fully blown song right but if i was like go make a fully blown song it wouldn't work the other way around you know so that is a great piece of creative advice for sure but to tell you what my best uh, piece of creative advice is, and I've explored a full video on the channel on that, uh, but um, it's create every moment that you are available. So act on your highest passion every moment that you can to the best of your ability with absolutely zero expectation for the outcome. So I, w- I would call his piece of creative advice kind of an add-on to that one because it's like, when you have all these expectations and and you're not sure what to do and everything, it's like this is a really guiding light for me to just act on your highest passion every moment you can because it's like, fuck, wh- like what am I going to do today? Well, I want to make a video. That's what I'm really passionate about. Okay, cool, do that to the best of your ability. So like give it the most that you can, you know, with zero expectation for the outcome. I'm not expecting this video is just going to get me a million subs, right? I'm just doing it because I'm enjoying this, right? I'm enjoying uh, ripping apart other creators on the internet. We're not really doing that. We're actually giving pretty nice reviews right now, aren't we? Anyway, well, let's give it one more. Let's give it one more. But the problem with being creative is that you're useless at the bottom of the dominance hierarchy because at the bottom of the dominance hierarchy, so power hierarchy, you should do what you're told to do. You're not there to think outside the box. You're there to learn what you're supposed to do and implement it. And creative people are like, that's, that is what they do. Now, what happens, though, to companies is that because they filter all the creative people out at the bottom and then people start to rise up to the top, you really need creative people at the top because they are the entrepreneurial types. And they're the ones, for example, in law firms, even though lawyers aren't very creative, the more entrepreneurial ones are the ones that bring in all the business. Yeah, so this is huge as well because, like, uh, yeah, unfortunately, creativity, you know, in the in the eyes of capitalism, people don't think creativity is the thing that's going to make people money. but sooner or later very soon i'm talking and it's happening now people and companies are realizing that creative people are actually some of the most valuable people in their company but they just need to actually trust them because the thing is you don't get like a direct return on investment from things that creative people do all the time but then all of a sudden they make a couple of cool moves and it can change the full direction of your company or your product or things like that so i'm i'm a perfect example like i am a creative person and i'm a I'm like running a media team for another company and they've recognized the value of having a creative person in that position and it's benefiting them a lot, right? Uh, but this is changing changing very much and especially with the full implementation of AI and things like that, there is going to be, uh, you know, a whole bunch of different things that uh, that's popping up that, um, that yeah, AI is going to gonna take down a lot of, uh, a lot of just normal working jobs, right? And then uh, creative people and creative things are going to, 
be much more valuable. So this is really important as well. Hopefully you've gotten some value out of this video and I'll see you in the next one.